wife had been flirting with her coworker. She said she would stop but it just happened again. Is there any future in this relationship b wife? And I have been married for slightly more than three years now. Last Christmas, I found she had been having a long conversation with a coworker of hers, in which they talked about having had sex multiple times and that they couldn't wait for the next one. The guy said he was going to book a hotel near their office right after Christmas. In this conversation, when he said he was looking forward to seeing my wife, she would reply with things like, I'm looking forward to much more than just seeing you, etc. You get the idea, overly flirty and sexual. When I confronted my wife, she denied the conversation existed. After deleting it, she showed me her phone to prove it didn't exist. But I had taken a few pictures. She then said it was all virtual and that they never did anything physical. To prove she was right, she messaged her coworker. In front of me, asking if he had booked the hotel, he replied, not yet. She then asked if he was really expecting them to meet, to which he replied negatively. She promised they would never talk again and I agreed, simply because I love her a lot and wanted to trust her, but in my mind, I wasn't completely sure she had been honest. For a few weeks, I must admit I checked her phones a few too many times, so she changed her password, which I was fine with because I was probably being too paranoid. This week, I picked her phone up because I needed a code that had been sent to her phone number. I didn't even need to unlock the screen to get it. To my surprise, under the message with the code, there were other messages from the same guy. One of them was an audio, the second one was a shirtless photo of himself in front of a mirror, and the third one said, sweaty, and a few emojis with the tongue. I confronted her since she had promised they wouldn't talk ever again, and she said he just Wanted to show her he's going to the gym to show progress. But that the rest of the times they talk it's just about work, and that this is just a coincidence. I asked her to show me the rest of their messages, but she said she had mistakenly deleted their conversation history. My wife says she's going to change this time, and that I never really forgave her, and that's why she kept talking to the guy. She says this time she's really going to stop but I have a hard time believing it. Or even if she does stop, I fear when things don't go so well between us she'll do it again. I really love her but can't keep living like this. Is there any situation in which this can work? What would you do? Story 2. Boyfriend, M19, called me a B, and threatened to slap me, F19, for the first because I deserved it. A. This is honestly really hard for me to write and I feel like I probably can't express myself properly. Please do ask for clarifications if this whole is thing is confusing. My boyfriend and I are 19 year olds, we've been together for two years now. And heaven knows how much I love that boy. I'm sorry if this post is a bit lengthy. He's usually very sweet and caring whenever we're happy. But when we have disagreements he's a completely different person. He would ignore me for days, purposely choose not to answer or tell me what's wrong, and would only wait to talk until I beg him to. But lately, he stopped doing his usual passive-aggressive cold shoulder and instead resorted to cursing more. We fought last week when I calmly pointed out that I didn't appreciate his behavior and in turn, he immediately got angry and stormed out, saying F asterisk CK this. While I didn't mind him swearing, because I understood that's how he vented when he's upset, what he said yesterday surprised me. We had a running gag that we do during class in church, where we tease each other for copying each other's works. Oh hey, that sounds awfully familiar. Yep folks copied my answer. Everyone knows we do our homework together, divide, then share it, so we obviously have the same answers. Our teacher, whom we're very close to, doesn't mind that we do this. In an odd way, I guess we all found it funny. Yesterday, I did the usual, he copied that joke and he suddenly became quiet and ignored me throughout the class. Wouldn't tell me what's wrong until after we got home when he texted me a series of insults because I him. He called me a huge, disrespectful B asterisk TCH and that I made him want to slap me and that I deserved it. I didn't speak in a condescending or mocking tone, I just jokingly teased him the way that we usually did. It wasn't a special occasion, it's just us and our group of friends in class so I was really confused as to why he got mad when we did it on a regular basis. Of course I'm not trying to justify what I did wrong, I'm just explaining that it wasn't intentional, because for the years that we've been together I've never sworn at nor insulted him.
I could never bring myself to, no matter what he did. I never intended to humiliate him. I recognized how I unintentionally hurt him and apologized for it because I genuinely felt really bad. It was the first time he ever did that. I don't know if that even counts as verbal abuse since it's only through texts. I understand that what I did upset him greatly, but it wasn't intentional and I did apologize. I've been so used to getting ignored for a week when we fight so this is all pretty new to me. Is it normal for him to treat this way just because he's mad and that he probably doesn't mean it? Or am I just making a big deal out of a small thing? Was what I did really bad that I deserved to be slapped and be called a bee, as he said? Am I invalidating him and his feelings and just playing like a victim right No, he'd appreciate it if you guys could give me any advice and also help me correct my wrongdoings too? Thank you for listening. Story 3. I am 40. Couldn't say the L word, and... Now my partner, M40, is acting weird. Some backstory. My previous relationship was long-term, nearly nine years, and very committed. Things ended very badly, and it was my fault I was not unloyal or anything like that, but I did betray my partner's F37. Trust to some extent by switching career paths without consulting her, causing me to take on entirely different hours and less pay. We eventually wound up on good terms and I consider her to be a friend at this point, but the end of the relationship left me with some trauma in regards to committing to anyone else. This breakup left me pretty desolate, but I found myself in a friend's W slash benefits relationship with a guy, M40, I met through a friend. This relationship was very unexpected for me as it caused me to reconsider a lot about myself and my past relationship. We had been casually seeing each other for three years, which I understand sounds insane, but it worked for us and our respective lives, which did not seem compatible for a long time. Things were very good between us. It was a truly mutually beneficial relationship. It was a few months ago that we decided to make things more serious by first dating more seriously and then moving in together. This is when the problems began. He found me controlling, I found myself frustrated at the sudden lack of independence in my life, something I'd gotten very used to. We fought constantly. We were stifling each other. We broke up in a shouting match. A few days later, I realized how I was being. I was throwing away a good thing because I was afraid of compromise or to even let my partner in. We had a much-needed conversation filled with apologies and got back together. He even admitted he loves me something I still find myself afraid of saying aloud after the way my last relationship went. I can see myself spending forever with him, and I know I love him, but saying it out loud feels like I'll send us right back into where we were before somehow. He seemed accepting. And then things got weird. Ever since his love confession, he's been acting completely out of character. He seems to have become obsessed with his coworker, a newbie on his team who seems like a bit of a loner. My partner is naturally a social butterfly, and I interpreted their relationship initially as him taking a sort of pity upon this quiet dude. I encouraged it. But now he spends all his time looking at this guy's photos, talking about him. I don't think this guy would ever reciprocate whatever it is my partner has for him. He's a bit immature in his interests, very shy, probably not even queer and incredibly awkward. So I don't think he's full on cheating, but it's definitely f asterisk 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 ing weird. Is he doing this out of revenge because I struggle with commitment? I know a lot of answers here are going to tell me to just leave, but it's not that simple. I know this post is a bit unclear, but it's the easiest way to summarize a long and sort of bats to story. I do love this guy. I feel as though he's my soulmate. I know he reciprocated. At least he did before everything changed. What do I do?